one man's trash is another man's treasure. I was in the market for a CRT monitor, and on Craigslist, I found a 21-inch Sony Trinitron G500 for only $30. When this monitor originally came out in 2000, it cost a couple thousand dollars. So I'm super stoked on this monitor. It's a uh, 21-inch, 19.8 viewable. I'll put some more specs below. It's huge. This thing weighs like 60 pounds, and I bought it from these two guys, and it took both of them to carry it to my car. But super stoked on this find. It was a great price. Um, when I was a kid, the, the biggest monitor I had for CRT was a 22-inch. That was a ViewSonic P220F. So I don't know if the Sony Trinitron is better. It might be a little bit smaller, but for the price, I'm super stoked on this. A lot of old school gamers still prefer CRT monitors because of the high refresh rate. And also, <clears throat> some disadvantages of modern LCD monitors are they're only designed to run at their native resolution. So for example, 1080p. And then they'll look kind of blurry at any other resolution. And CRT monitors will look good at any resolution. Also, even though they make LCD monitors that are above 60 hertz, you know, like 120 or 144, I like how in CRTs you can just set whatever hertz you want at, at, um, at 1024 by 768, it'll go up to like 200. And there's a couple programs I use to do this. I use a program called PowerStrip by Intact Taiwan. And this is a program that I've been using for quite a while, but um, it has a limit to a height of 400. So I kind of just use this program out of nostalgia, but I use another program called Reforce. And this lets you set custom uh, resolutions and whatever refresh rate you want. So I like using CRT monitors for FPS games because with the high refresh rate, it's really smooth. So let's take a look at one. <clears throat> so this is uh, I'm running Far Cry, and this is on my retro computer. This is an Apple on 64. And it's pretty similar to what I had back in the day. It has an ATI XC50 Pro. There might be a little bit of flickering, but once uh, it's a good connection. This is a good game to benchmark on this computer because this computer is also from, it's about 2003, 2004 PC specs. So, and in the back of the Far Cry box it says AMD Athlon 64, which is what we're running. But, uh, it runs okay. I can't, I can't do like very high settings, yet, but it's on high settings. Super great graphics. Anyway, so I'm I'm super stoked on this monitor. It was such a good find for thirty bucks, and I also bought a protective screen for an extra ten bucks, which I shouldn't have bought because I knew I was never going to use it. It's so it's so you can view it at different angles, like if you're watching a movie or something. But I'm not going to be watching a movie on this, and it sort of broke. Like part of it broke when I dropped it. But uh, anyway, I, I'm super stoked to get this monitor again. Uh, after I graduated high school in 2004, I bought, um, I think it was a 22-inch CRT for $300. So that's how much it was back then. Anyway, so I'm super stoked to get this. And I was also testing out some DOS games, but for some reason that, that Reforce program should be able to set the refresh rate in this game, but it wasn't working. I love the original Heroes Quest. I think the graphics are really good for 89, and even though it got a remake. Like, look at this, as the, like, the character reflects. I don't know, I like it. <clears throat> so yeah, there might be a lot of flickering, because this is probably only running at 60 hertz.
So I'm super stoked on this monitor, and I'm going to have this on my retro computer to play some old games. And I hope, I'd like to get more CRTs. Like, I was a big fan of ViewSonic when I was a kid, so I'd like something like, like a 17-inch CRT or a 19-inch ViewSonic. That'd be cool to find. That's what I was originally looking for on Craigslist, but when I saw this, I, I couldn't pass it up. And it does take up a lot of room. I, I can't have my modern computer set up at the same time. So I'm hoping to get an extra desk in here in my computer room. That's my CRT video, the Sony Trinitron G500. Thanks for watching.